Because now if you leave, it's a hit and run. I feel him. Every single day I get in my car, it's a close call. And 90% of those times, the person behind the wheel of that close call is one of y'all ladies. Why y'all be doing this? I'm not exempting nobody. I've driven in the car with my wife before and I had to be like, yo, what, what, what is the point of you switching in and out of these lanes? You're not even going nowhere. At some point in time, when she used to get in the car with me, I'd be crashing out. I'd just be talking to myself. I'd be cursing the people out. And you know, one of my favorite line is, I bet you it's a bitch. And she used to be sitting right there and she'd get mad. The sister soldier kicking. Now that she, you know, she got to drive herself around, she see that I'm not tripping. People in Atlanta cannot drive. I stand firmly behind that, but <laughs> the ladies in Atlanta is a different level of special when it comes to driving. The soccer moms is a different level of special when it comes to driving. And listen, I'm not even being racist when I say this. People of the Asian community. Let me go ahead and stop before I get canceled for saying this shit. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't want no problems. Uh, the shower and toilet are like behind us. They're like in a stall in our private bathrooms um, so that you can be showering or using the bathroom and your roommate can come in, brush their teeth, whatever. So <laughs> she's not answering. So I stand up on the I stand up on the counter and look over into the shower and she's like laying on the ground. So <laughs> I get a coat hanger and I reach over top of the stall, unlock the door and like three of us go in there and we're like, oh my God, like, are you okay? Whatever, whatever. She like wakes up like she was asleep. And then we noticed that she had my toothbrush, my electric toothbrush in between her legs. <laughs> it's not funny. Yo. So <laughs> I didn't know that's where she was going with that. So Shorty bust her a good nut and went to sleep. Come to find out, she had been using my electric toothbrush as a vibrator for months, and I had been using it and brushing my teeth with it. And now I have trust issues. So yeah. I hope you whooped her ass. With all these herpes and all this STDs going around, I was gonna do a video on the guy Gucci third leg that was out here spreading the herp -de -de herp. Now, we don't know how he got it, but imagine in her situation, she end up getting the herp -de -de herp. And now she gotta disclose this information to future partners and they ask her how she got it. My roommate was using my electric toothbrush as a vibrator. <sighs> you supposed to whoop her ass. It's the back knee for me. It's the all-American Eagle wardrobe for me. It's the almost killing me in a car crash three times for me. It's it's the crying cool for me. It's the constantly getting stomach aches for me. It's the only eating plants for me. It's the Disney obsession at 18 years old for me. It's the ensemble sophomore year for me. <laughs> that been waiting. He has been waiting. I reacted to a video where somebody did a similar thing at Chipotle. But I feel as though that was a skit. This ain't no skit. They was really playing the game. You heard how it's the almost killing me in a car crash for me. When he said that, she ain't had nothing else to say. Oh, and it's the dropping out of a D1 school to go to community college for me. <laughs> Bumbaras! Bullet, bullet! <laughs> she about to cry. It's the back knee for me. It's the All-American Eagle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You was playing it's the American Eagle. Nah, nah, nah. Them was love taps. That boy was coming with haymakers. You think well, I just told you to hop for no reason? It's not going to work again, though. It's, it's going to work. It's going to work. Watch your head. It's going to hit his head. Watch your head. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh. I can't believe it. That is not ideal. Don't laugh, dude. I don't oh, know. He's no, okay. No, no. He's okay. saw that coming from a mile away. Because he just go in the house. Yo, yo. Are you filming? Oh, oh, no. Thing. Oh. You got it. You oh, got it. Oh, oh, you got it. Friends, how many of us have them? Friends, your friends will convince you to do some of the dumbest shit. Hey, we vibing on this ain't. 
You're doing too much. Bro, you met your match. You're doing too much. I'm not gonna lie. Just saying. You met your match. You are doing too much. Is that Versace? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit's fucking cool. What is that? Wonderful. You and your man's got a situation for a two man, and you hogging the play. You a L, bro. I f with the shade. I f with the shade's content. Fellow short king. But this right here, this ain't short king behavior. This is overcompensating at its finest. You don't embarrass your mans on a two man. You gotta make your choice. Shun the other one, so she gotta go to your mans. You over there doing? You, you not. F Get both of them, Deshay. Put a finger down if you had and got jackhammered so hard that your ovary got twisted and now you're in emergency room about to undergo emergency surgery to save your ovary. Why y'all boys be out here trying to murder the poom poom? Huh? This the second video I've seen of a young lady having to go to the hospital after some sexual activity. What y'all boys got going on? You know what? I don't got no comment. All right, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. Never fall asleep at a munch house. Yo, somebody in the comment section said, with Coochie on his breath, he outside fighting for his life. <laughs> now, you supposed to be trying to go out the window. Oh, she finna go get her shoes. She coming in there to fight your ass. Yo, man, ain't no way. You out here sneaking around and creeping and, and the person's significant other come home and you sitting behind the door waiting? Uh, sister, put your shoes on. Put your hair in a bun. You might have to fight your way up out of there. Or find an open window and get the hell on. I want to be loved. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here. We act tough and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying, y'all, because I'm sad. I'm crying, y'all, because it's like a release right now. But the problem for me, y'all, is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then to have a son. That is the realest thing I've heard in a long time. A lot of women are like that and don't realize they are like that. As a man, I've experienced the woman that knows how to do everything she said except for love a man. Because of those choices that I was making, y'all, and I got pregnant really, really fast. I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy. And we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts. It fucking hurts. And I'm mad with me. I'm not mad at men. I'm not mad at... I'm not mad at my life. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at me because I don't know how to fix me. I don't know how to fix it. That's, that's accountability. That's the shit that hurts. It's realizing that hate. Damn, I, I want to cry with her. I want to cry with her. Like I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix. And in turn, because I don't know how to fix that shit, I'm fucking up other people around me. This is what accountability looks like. Sometimes it's not pretty. Shout out to her. It's women out here, right? They only see men as a means of survival. And they have all the right tools 
to reel a man in for a short period of time, but because they don't know how to love him, those relationships don't last. And honestly, if those relationships last, it's mostly a physical one until he finds a woman that can love him. Females that don't know how to love a man can only fake the funk for so long. Eventually, they get so used to that pattern. So before the guy actually figures out that she, she can't give him that love that he needs, she's already holding on to another branch. And when I say another branch, another man. You know what I'm saying? So she's jumping from guy to guy, trying to avoid reality. Personally, I can't tell you how to fix something like that. I hate the fact that I can state the problem and not state a solution. I actually get upset when... Okay, bro. Okay. All right. I actually get upset when I see videos of people just stating nothing but problems with no solution. And I feel as though I've just done that. But at the same time, I want to really commend her on her level of accountability. The first step in fixing the problem is admitting that you have one.